Right. So it's October. A lot of people are doing like, let me watch 30 horror movies wow. in 30 days before Halloween. There's a lot of uh, new horror movies coming out. Smile 2 comes out next week. Terrifier 3 debuted this week. Last week, VHS Beyond came out. So there's a just... There's new series. A crazy uh, teacup. Teacup. There's so another that, one that called Sweet Pea. Yeah, that, um, the Hugh. Oh, I've seen the tra- the trailer for that it. That looks kind of w- that looks great too. Digging. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff coming out, and um, there's a lot of attention for all the big brands. What I thought to do was to write a small list, just four titles of horror movies that came out this year that didn't get as much attention or props mm-hmm. that I think are worth watching. Especially if you're doing, like, let me do 30 Days of Horror in October. Here are a few you might be able to add to your list that are brand new. Wow. So, um, first I wanted to mention a, one that's on Amazon Prime called Beazel. It's like a... It seems pretty low budget, but really well done. Just a good story. It's pretty gruesome. Mm-hmm. Got some good stuff to it. Then I wanted to mention... On Netflix, Grave Torture. That's Joko Anwar's newest one. He makes uh, Taiwanese horror movies. Satan Slaves is his famous brand. But Grave Torture is crazy. It's got the nastiest last third of a movie this year, including like Immaculate, which also has an incredible ending to it. Then I wanted to mention Tubi has Low Lifes, which is the best Tubi horror movie that I've seen in years. It's actually good. It's uh, essentially... A family picks up some creepy locals, and you generally think you know where that's going to go, but this shit goes in 10 different directions. Low lives, I like that. That sounds good. Low lives. And then What You Wish For, which is one that you actually put me on to, which is a bit of a thriller. Mm -hmm. It's like a guy goes, a chef goes to his chef friend's situation. The chef friend is living real nice. Something happens, and the chef friend isn't around, so the guy has to take up that chef friend's job and it turns out to be a lot more than he bargained for oh okay very very good movie was that very on? intense i think that one's on prime too Let's but i think it. i had to rent Either that prime, one prime or hulu i think hulu might have it right now yeah one, oh, okay. one of them has it one of them is playing it like it switched to free now got you but yeah i, ah. I rented it it was worth it it was like it was good nice. but that yeah so those one. are four movies that not people people aren't really talking about that are worth a look to go with all the big stuff that's come out. But yeah, have you guys seen any horror movies that got you hyped for the Halloween season? Yeah, I want to I want to give a shout out to Strange Darling. I thought Strange Darling yes. was excellent. Um I forget what the lead actress's name is. She killed that role. Um I'll tell you right now. She it was, she did. Her performance is great. Excellent performance. Um it's another one of those for the sake of not giving you um, too many spoilers. I won't say much about the movie because it'll give it all away, but it's excellent from start to finish. And it's another one that takes you in a bunch of twisted directions. Uh, let's say from well, what you can know because you get it from the trailer is it's essentially a one night stand with a serial killer. And whatever what le- what happens yeah. after that, Willa so. Fitzgerald is the name wow. of her. She's, yes. She kills she, it. She's she kills great. It. Shout out role. to Willa Fitzgerald. She. That role was great. And what's the other dude? Um, Kyle Gallner. Yes. And he, I love You'll him, I love him, him in, like, he's he always kills all his roles. Yeah, I so always forget his name, so I wanted to. Yeah, uh, that was dope. That um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, so I just watched, as my throwback, Christine. <laughs> oh, the original. Stephen King? Mm, okay. And, uh, you know, it's funny, because Christine is the type of movie where... I think maybe a lot Stephen King did this a lot back in the day, but it's sort of like the first half is kind of like, and it's a long movie. That one's like two hours plus. Like the first half, you sense something evil. Is off. Is, yeah, you sense it. But then there's sort of like a supernatural kind of twist to the movie that happens at one point, and that's when it really ramps up and goes off. So I really enjoyed it. And I had mistake, you know, I had meant to throw on Carrie. <laughs> and I threw Christine. on Christine. <laughs> the wrong C. But I was so hooked on watching the car again that I stuck with it. And I'm glad I did. I had a lot of fun. So Both that was my movies. throwback. What about you, Boom? 
Yo, I mean, right now I did mingle and twingle with Terrifier too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, I like that. Terrifier one. is is you know it's a it's a good disgusting. movie, but it's disgusting. It's a sick, <laughs> gory movie. Honestly, it, it, it was to a point that I kind of laughed at some of the scenes because the way yep. he is beating the shit and demolishing people is crazy. There was one scene though that I thought was crazy. <laughs> Like it had a turn on it that I wasn't kind of expecting. It was when he uh, appears on the show. Oh yes, oh. with all the so I'm like the random dream. So I'm like, yo, there's a lot of people here. Like, how is he gonna just get everybody? He's gonna go just slash him. But then <laughs> was we... was part two the one where she's on the bed and he's like slicing her leg, her leg like baloney. Like, is that it? Slice it. Was that I want to say? I it, think so. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it was that. Part two was the part one is the hacksaw where she's hung upside down. Part one is one of the most like no plot, brutally just gory for no reason. There's zero plot to that one. And then part two managed to be worse than that. So, but with plot, with some like you know, with a final girl and some characters that you actually know. But damn, that movie is fucking crazy. So I have part three coming now. Yeah, part three just came out out this weekend, and and I heard the Thursday like screening numbers were better than a bunch of movies that you would think that were really successful. So it's really exciting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to convince my girl to watch part. Three, it was <laughs> tough getting her to sit through part two, and I think we she might have even maybe turned it off. But you got to have a little bit of a oh, screw loose, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm very tempted. All the terrifiers. I'm tempted to go to the theaters, but only for like this weekend when they're going to be full of people. Because right. I'm more interested in how audiences are going to react. I watch every horror movie, so yeah. this stuff, you know, it's demented and twisted and it's gross. But it doesn't really make me react the way that people react sometimes, and I get a kick out of that. Like you were saying, like you laugh because it's so over the top. It's so over the top, like the like the um the black dude that he kills in the store. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? The dude's oh, already pretty much there. dead, bro. And you still demolishing his fucking head. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with the gory Pause. shit. With that, like it's it's over the top gore. It's just over the top. That it's kind of like funny because then you can like I don't know like it's just I like. I like the fact that these guys did this, like, low-budget, uh-huh. yeah. massive hit, like, for part one. And then part two, they added context to what yep. was essentially just a murder, a grotesque murder gory story. They were like, let's mold this into a story, and they pulled it off yeah. again. Yeah. So, I don't how the hell, what do they, do you think three is going to be worse than one and two in the gore aspect? So the the I feel like they try to top themselves. The people I've talked to seems to say two kind of edges this one out, but that this one is along the same lines. They say don't expect him to reinvent the wheel. If you liked two, you're gonna like this one. If you were like put off by two, this is gonna this is more of the same. He's playing. He's going to his audience. It's a grindhouse yeah, slasher right movie, and that's why he's able to make them for a certain budget that's pretty low. And people love it because you don't get these types of horror movies anymore. Hell no. So you can't get yeah, too many crazy, of those. You yeah. gotta give them one or two. <laughs> I made the mistake of uh, <laughs> getting my some of my family to decided to come with me because I was so excited to go see In a Violent Nature. And the kills in In a Violent Nature are very over the top and gratuitous and nuts. Mm-hmm. One kill in particular, if you say the yoga kill... Everybody knows what you're talking about. They know the movie. You don't have to say I'm talking about this movie. Yoga kill in a violent nature. Automatic because it is so horrendous and yeah. crazy that it, it people if I say that you remember, you get a little vision of how nasty that was. That shit is rare, but I felt bad for my family because it's like, oh, I watched the extra horror shit. You guys should probably shouldn't have come to this one. Yeah. yeah. I mean popcorn. Sure. All right, what else do you... You got anything else you want to give away on the horror aspect before oh, so we... Roll? On the throwback tip, people were very hype about Long Legs this year, and I think this movie was probably an inspiration towards it. It is a uh, either J-horror or K-horror. Uh, Cure. It's J-horror. Cure from 1997. It is really good. It's one of the best thrillers. It's the best horror movie I've watched this year, bar none. Just because I'm a huge fan of it. And, you know, none of the new stuff tops it to me. Word. It's called Cure. Uh, it's a, Kurosawa is the director. I can't think of his first name because I mixed them up. But um, it's a really great movie. And as far as throwbacks go, that movie 
is so good that I couldn't believe I'd never heard of it until this year. But yeah, if you like long legs, particularly, Cure is worth a watch. Pow. You ready to rock? Yup, yup. I'm pretty much done. Shout out to everybody if you stuck Yo, with us this long for you these know how different we topics. Back in the streets. We're back. Yeah, if you stuck around this far, thank you very much. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, all Ba-pow. that nonsense you should have done an hour ago. And um, we'll be back soon. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're listening to TFP, the fans' perspective.